is this school or the Suic headquarters? <laughs> like, this is so cool. They just moved in here. Just um, moved in. Out the countryside, old countryside school. And it, you know, I think this is going to work excellent for a uh, school in the principal's office to see if we can see Principal Mike. <laughs> Mike, in trouble? Is it Principal Mike here? How's it going, guys? So happy to. We hadn't been over to see your other shop. I know you just moved this last spring. We did. We did. And um, I mean, this has all the possibilities to be a great manufacturing center. A lot of possibilities. We're not done yet, but we're we're getting there. We just we got too busy. <laughs> so we'll, we'll get it though. We're we're coming. Oh heck yeah. So. Show us around, see what we got, and yeah, come on back. I'm sure we the what, what, what you can show, and not the secrets that you got coming out, you know? We have a few, not too many. <laughs> <laughs> so this is Look where we at this. All the orders in here. Um, this is cool. Yeah, and then that's a just a nice table to work with, and and uh, package up the baits. Yeah. So this is most of our inventory, not all of it. Each product has a bin, and we can see, you know, what, if it's full or what we've got for stock right here. Sure. So. I mean, it's got. I, I'm looking in here, and there's some. There's some favorites right here. We got. There's a fire tiger, <laughs> like ten inch weighted, and there's. Um, I mean, everything is just. Suic Central. Yeah, if it's not in here, it doesn't exist. <laughs> yeah. Look at that, you know. This is a, just a great way of keeping everything all organized. And, and like you said, when you see something runs out and you can pick out, you know. Yeah, yeah, it's real easy. I mean, right now, the G64 Red's probably a hot color. Keep so. going. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's awesome. More down here. Yep. We got a few empty drawers there, but for the most part, they're full. Yeah. And you know, you would think that somebody would. I mean, Suic's been around for. I mean, what's your history as far as that? I mean, well, we started in uh, 1939, so been around just over 80 years. Um, we were at the old place since 1980, so we had a uh, 40 years of stuff. We had to move over here and clean up and make it work so it's a lot of room it is a lot of room yep it's much better mm -hmm. we didn't realize how crammed we were till we got here i bet i mean it's an old school so yeah you've been you've had plenty of time in schools you know what they're like right yeah <laughs> <laughs> being that you're still in middle school we're in a classroom <laughs> that was the art room, art room. <laughs> perfect Perfect, had the art room. Yeah, art with all the baits. Oh yeah. Excellent. You can come on over here across the hall. Take a look at I mean every, from what I see is like every every classroom is basically another part of your company right now. Yeah, yeah, we're actually we're utilizing the whole school. So Well, what do we got in this room? <laughs> well this room's kind of a mess yet. We're still trying to get this a little more organized, but we got a bunch of drill presses in here. Um, we got the mill for drilling out eyes and you know a bunch of other little things. So that's kind of yeah. what we do in here. Um, we got some. You always got. Those are suics, I can tell. Suics <laughs> to drill press. I mean, they're all handmade here. It isn't like, you know. A big factory. Big factory overseas, made in the USA. Yep. Everybody probably recognizes these are Weagles. Big log. More suics. Yeah, there's a lot, a lot of wood here. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta have a wood shop. Yeah. yeah, this is one of those rooms that's kind of always dirty. Uh, this over here is an old mill, but we got it set up for drilling uh, eyes on Nightwalker heads right now. Mm-hmm. So. Those are nice. They're a nice sounding baits. Did you catch that uh, the last video we did with Rich Reinhardt? I did. Where yeah. we did the underwater? Yep, yeah, I did. That yeah. really looks nice. Yeah, that turned out great. You guys did a good job of that. It's just something different people want to hear mm -hmm. is what a muskie hears. Yeah, yeah, it was 
very interesting. Yep. Very. So, but here's, this is called a Suic Nightwalker. Suic Nightwalker. And you know what? It's one of my, probably my all time favorite baits, you know, as far as a tail bait. Yep. You know, as far as sound lies. Um, this is a brand new bait. So we're going to listen to this one and we'll see how it sounds and see if we can get a little bit more out of it. Yep. Yep. There. What do you think, Jason? I like it. Wonder what it sounds like. Uh, underwater. Underwater. I want to hear it. What class is this? So this is where everything pretty much gets assembled here. Um, it gets assembled, hooked, packaged, uh, pretty much all the, the clean stuff in here. Hmm. These rooms just make, these old school houses just, this is perfect. Yeah. Perfect. You got the counter space, you got things that you would normally put in a facility. Yeah, it suits us absolutely perfect. You know, and you saw this. We did one with this color the other day oh, yeah. in our video. That way. That way. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's perfect. That's what we call money. I think this is kind of like a. Are you gonna confiscate that? Yes. It's kind of like a. It's kind of like a jail with orange. Pretty cool. That's what I'm calling it. Or, yep. And this color right here. Yep. You got that one too. Mm-hmm. Excellent. Great colors. What do you like, the weighted or the unweighted? I like the weighted. <laughs> <laughs> they hang better. I like wood. I'm a big fan of wood, and I'm glad you still are continuing to make the wood yeah you will because it i like the character i like everything and i like how they hang and i like to do everything i mean the, the plastic one does work very very well they do but there's just there's different characteristics to both yeah so they, they both have, I have a purpose so mm -hmm. we'll make them both for a long time yet excellent yeah. that'd be great so let's mm -hmm. take a walk across the hall and see where they get painted excellent That's a lot of Suix fishing. I know. <laughs> I've Excellent. only caught like four fish on that cup. Yep. Excellent. Steve over there doing some painting? Just finished. <laughs> you guys got in here, what, two minutes too late? <laughs> <laughs> just, just, I just put the rack on the thing. Dog on it, but Ollie's painting so we can watch her a little bit. Yeah. How does that sound? See how this goes. <laughs> Excellent. And those are actually the heads for the night walker and she's putting two light coats on of orange. It's actually getting better coverage that way. Mm -hmm. So the first one is light and then she'll go over with another coat and she'll just get brighten it up a little bit. So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's gonna be the orange frog when we're all done. In fact, I got one on the table here. You can look at it finished. That one right here? Yep, that's the one there. We've actually got to paint all four of those colors yet this week, so. It's a lot of process, and you know, you know people wonder why musky baits can be a little bit expensive. But there's a lot of process to it. I don't think a lot of people realize just how much time goes into making these things. Years ago, we, we actually took it and uh, Try to figure out how many times each bait is handled from start to finish, and it's well over 70 times. Wow. Which is, you know, it's hard to believe, but just, I mean, just in here, they get handled from, I don't know, 10, 12 times, depending on the color. You count people cutting down the trees, too? <laughs> the last time we cut baits, we had 20 cords of full-size logs sitting in our, in our parking lot that we cut up for baits. That was, I've actually got some pictures of that someplace, but I don't know where they are. <laughs> so, well, yeah, that's, that's uh, it's kind of a neat process, to be honest with you. And then, you know, 
you used to see how it was like some some would be a little bit more buoyant than others it all depend whether they came from the outer side of the tree or the inner side of the tree or exactly you know as anglers we kind of like why does that one work i got what's yeah. the same color everything's the same everything's the same you know it depends how fast the tree grows yeah you know how close the uh, growth rings are i mean the closer the growth rings the, the more heavier the heavier the log is going to be so the heavier the bait is mm -hmm. so it's just a lot of different things go into it but like we said in the other room it's it's, it's excellent they're still using yeah the 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 wood i mean i like i like it a lot you know we use the wood but we also got have plastic now. yeah and i'll tell you what the plastic ones i, I was using one last week and it works really they dance well. nice they yes. do yes and you can get them to do a lot of different things just by a little bit caught a lot of fish on that nine inch and it will hang perfect too it does you did a good job of finishing that one off i We've know what you're talking about yeah <laughs> <laughs> yep We've actually got one where we hung some adjustable weights on it. And if you put a, a quarter ounce weight in that bait, it, it just hangs so nice. Mm -hmm. So it's a good little tip for the fall fishing. Mm -hmm. You can kind of use that when you want to. Yeah. Weight them down a little bit and they just barely rise. And, and then you got the, you know, the whole factor of on the plastic one, sometimes you got the, the, the hooks banging off the, off the bait too a little bit. Yeah. And that gives another, you know, added sound it does it, it's it's a lot a little different than the wood but they still make a lot of noise i tell you it's one of the loudest underwater musky baits on the market mm -hmm. so i know they've done some studies on that it's amazing how loud these things are mm -hmm. I mean, in yeah. our iowa video we shot a video of it of the that was the chartreuse one it was going underwater and there's so much rattle the hooks and everything else and you cool. almost caught one in iowa on that bait so close <laughs> it was about the I think that fish took about five turns of the eight. Finally you got it to you got it to eat and ate twice. And that was like on the last hour of the day and a half trip. Yep. <laughs> That's how it always goes. You fish all week in the last hour. It's the best time and you never want to leave. <laughs> <laughs> well, excellent. I mean more more ready to get painted up. Yep. Yeah, we've got a big batch of them we got to paint up. And... You know, we, we just did a video. Um, I don't know if Mike had saw it. We just did a video with Rich Reinhardt. Oh, okay. Where we did tuning. And mm -hmm. one of the baits we tuned was the Night Walker. Oh, yeah. And, um, and we've done a lot of sewing. Our best video ever is, do you remember when you gave us, you gave us two baits in package? We took them to Lake of the Woods. I opened them up. And we tuned them right out of the package in a back bay in Lake of the Woods. And that's our best video that we've ever had kick out. You know, everybody's interested. And to this day, I look at it, and I'll put a link to it in the bottom of this the video. But it, I've seen where uh, it gets 20 to 30 to 40 views a month. That same video over and over and over again. That was four years ago. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> it's amazing. Everybody will dig that up. And once you put it out there, it's out there. Yeah, because once you, you you just Google search how to tune a suic, and that video comes up. Nice. So. <laughs> yeah, you started out right. <laughs> so. Yeah, paint booths, everything. I mean, this this classroom works beautiful for this. It's got great ventilation. Uh, kicking out for safety. You know, you got to have safety when you're doing with paint work stuff and filtration and everything. So. Excellent. All right, what else do we got to look at? That's it. Pretty much? Yeah. Excellent. That's it. That's it. Yeah. Well, I appreciate you all. Yeah. So. Appreciate you for watching. Please hit that subscribe button. We're this close to 2,000 subscribers. All you have is completely free. Just press that red button down there, and it'll help me a lot. So thanks for pressing the subscribe button. See you on the next adventure.